Hello all, this is Professor Horn checking in and uh, I wanted to share this video with you as this is the navigation video for the new Blackboard site that uh, now has incorporated material for um, the uh, online version of the class now that uh, the university has made the switch to move all classes fully online. So I know this is a very trying time for some of you, very stressful time of you. Some of you have never taken online classes and you're going to be thrown into them. Uh, just know that your professors have been instructed to work with you, so we're going to try to make this as smooth as possible. Uh, there will be some kinks probably, um, but just be patient and we're, we'll be flexible, you be flexible, and we'll get through these crazy times together. Uh, on a side note, on a personal note, I want to make sure that everybody's doing okay, right? I know this is a very high, highly anxious time, highly stressful time, so uh, if you're under stress, right, do know that university has uh, counseling services still available. Um, um, and uh, they'll be moving those to telemedicine um, here fairly shortly. So the, the counseling services will be uh, available regardless of how the situation unfolds uh, here in the state. Um, but uh, if you do need to talk, if you just want to talk about some stuff, if you want to talk about strategies for how to deal with this, if you just want to shoot the crap and have a beer, right, and talk about well, the craziness, uh, I'm open to have a virtual beer with all of you, right, uh, or just hang out, right? So if that's the case, drop by my office hours, which this brings up a good transition. Um, I'm going to have office hours on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'll be having virtual office hours on Zoom. Um, you can refer to the syllabus for the link and also watch out for the emails I will be sending on Tuesdays and Thursdays, inviting you all um, to the uh, Zoom uh, office hours, right? Come by and, and say hi, right? Uh, everybody's pretty much going to be isolated for a while, um, so it's good to have some contact with people, right? Use, keep using that brain muscle so we don't go crazy. Um, so just come to them, drop by my office hours, stop by and say hi. It doesn't matter if you have a question or not. Come by, talk about the election, right? Let's let's have some conversations that we usually used to have in class. We can have those via the, the Zoom office hours, right? Um, so please check the syllabus uh, that has the office hours 11 to 12 uh, on every Tuesdays and Thursdays via Zoom. There's a link in the syllabus, and I will be sending an email out on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Starting this Thursday, uh, my office hours will start, right? Um, some note about the schedule. Speaking of the syllabus, right, I've updated the syllabus. You can see an, a copy of the syllabus here, right? Um, uh, I've also attached it to the email that this video was uh, had a link to. Um, and the syllabus now accounts for the transition online. It also accounts for not having classes next week. It does, accounts for have not having classes last week. Um, so uh, please do look at the new schedule in that syllabus. There's also some information about um, your course schedule uh, as an online class. Now that um, this class is online, some of you may need more structure um, than others, right? Um, and the syllabus provides some guidance as to what you should be doing on Monday, what you should be doing on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, etc. right? Um, you can work at your own pace in this class, though I do restrict um, each week to the certain chapters that we're covering. And then on Sundays, I will open up the new material uh, every Sunday evening or Sunday morning, whenever I get around to it on Sundays, depending on what I have, uh, what I'm doing. Uh, I guess if we're about to be quarantined, I can get to it early on Sundays uh, than not. But um, every Sunday, I'll release the, the module for the next week, and that'll have your lectures, your lecture notes, right? Um, and you can start get started on your assignments, right? Um, so I want to get this video started by showing you around the new Blackboard. Um, please do make sure you look at the new syllabus, uh, look at all the changes, right? Not only to the course content, but some also some tips there for structuring an online class. There's also a new assignment, right? We did have a government government uh, activity report, which we're no longer going to be able to do because of obvious circumstances. Uh, so I've changed that uh, that requirement uh, to be a, um, uh, a paper about California government. And there's a prompt for that. And you can see the prompt here, uh, as well as you can submit the paper here. But we'll talk about that here in a moment, right? So when you log into Blackboard, this is the view that you're going to have. Uh, and uh, the new syllabus is attached here. Uh, your ebook link is here. That hasn't changed. Your additional course readings link is here it hasn't changed the course content link that is a new link right so course contents new discussion forum is new and the California government uh, tab is new right so let's go to course content this is where all your lectures and your lecture notes will be um, so when you go to course content you'll see a, a folder you'll just see the first folder here uh, for dealing with the material this week right nice big red uh, um, notice for you there um, you'll also have all the student learning outcomes at, on each 
each folder for each week. Um, so this week we're going to be talking about the legislative branch, and you can see here by, by the end of this module, by the end of this week, you'll be able to uh, achieve the learning outcomes stated here, right? Um, but let's look at the uh, course material for this week. You'll just go ahead and open the folder, click that link there, right, for every folder. Uh, and then every week we'll start out with a checklist. This shows what you need to do to uh, complete everything you need to for the week, right? It shows you the materials you need to cover. You need to read the assigned chapters uh, and also review the video lectures, right? Reading the chapters are even more important on an online class because the lectures are not even in depth as they would be in a face-to-face -face, um, because you guys won't be able to sit through that long of a video. Um, the research shows it. My previous experience teaching online shows it as well. Um, so the lectures are anywhere from 10 minutes to 20 minutes, no longer really than 25 minutes, the, some of the longer ones. Um, but uh, you need to make sure you review those uh, readings um, because that's going to give you a, a good delivery of the material that's going to help you be successful on the exam, right? So the materials you need to cover here, refer to the syllabus to see what assigned readings, not only the chapters, but any additional readings, right? Review the lectures, which will be down here. Uh, and then it tells you the assignments to complete, right? The ch class uh, is not really changing in terms of assignments. Um, the paper topic is changing, right? But you guys already had to write a paper um, and you've already been doing inquisitive assignments weekly right um, so that hasn't changed uh, but what has changed is the fact that we're not meeting face to face so you still need to get some participation points and in order to do that you'll need to participate in uh, a weekly discussion forum right and in the weekly discussion forum you have two deadlines. The first is Wednesday by 11.59 p.m. Uh, because we're getting started late this week, I'll go ahead and extend this week's uh, um, foreign deadline till Sunday. Um, so you have until Sunday to not only post your initial form, but also your two responses. But starting uh, not next week because we don't have classes, but the following week, week 11, uh, your forum schedule will be as such, right? You'll have to um, complete a initial post of 250 words by Wednesday of each week by 11.59 p.m. And then you'll have to respond to two students' uh, posts, original post, uh, response of 150 words each response by 11.59 p.m. on Saturday. So you really have two deadlines for this course every week. You have Wednesday, 11.59 p.m., where you have to make your initial post on the discussion board where you answer one of the, uh, the discussion board prompts, um, and you have to make a 250-word uh, reply. I do. I'm pretty strict on the, on the, the word counts as well as the deadline deadlines so you will get knocked down if you don't uh, meet those right but uh, and then your next deadline for the class is on Saturday so 11 59 p.m. not only for the discussion board but also for the inquisitive assignments you've been having to comply with that deadline for the inquisitive assignments so I'm making it easy on you by including the second uh, discussion form deadline then right um, so Wednesdays and Saturdays are the two important dates for this class um, but uh, for this week since we're getting started late as long as you have uh, all three posts done by Sunday at 11.59 p.m., um, you will be able to get credit for this week's uh, discussion. And we'll go to the discussion board here in a minute, right? Um, after your weekly checklist, right, um, here's the inquisitive assignments. If you have anything else, such as I'm suggesting that you complete the study guide, right, or you need to take the midterm, um, that will be listed here under assignments as well, right? Um, here you can see the first lecture on the legislative branch. You can watch this within Blackboard, um, or you can push play and then follow this YouTube link um, over to YouTube and watch that uh, on your phone or whatever uh, way you want to watch that. The lecture notes to go with the video uh, lecture are directly below the uh, video lecture. Um, and then here you can see the second lecture of the uh, week here, the Legislative Branch 2, and then those um, those uh, video lectures uh, notes as well, right? So this is how every week will look, right? So we'll just go ahead and go back to see how uh, it looks from back here. Uh, remember your learning modules and then every week will go this. So every week will look, uh, week 11 will be under this, right? And since this is in student view, this is what you see. This is what you'll see. Uh, but I'll show you go ahead from the instructor view so you can kind of see how uh, the weeks look after this. So this is the current week uh, that everybody has access to, right? Um, and then this is the next week, week 11, right? I'll open this up in a couple weeks. This is where we'll be discussing the legis or the exam 
executive branch and the judicial branches here. Um, and then week 12 lectures, right? Uh, we'll be discussing political parties and elections. Um, and then you have week 13 here, where we'll be discussing public opinion, right? Um, and then 14, where we'll be discussing public policy and the media. Um, and then 15 is when we'll be discussing California politics, right? So all the modules are there. We just need to walk, uh, work at a certain pace so everybody's on the same uh, topics for discussion forums, and it's just a better class when everybody's going at the same pace, right? Okay, switching back to student view. Um, so that is the course content tab right here. That's where all the lectures and notes will be um, for the rest of the semester. The discussion forum is the next new tab. Um, you'll simply click on this discussion forums link here, um, and then you'll be able to see uh, the discussion forum for the week, right? Uh, week 10 will be under here, week 11, week 12. Uh, to simply get to each week's discussion forum, you'll simply click the discussion forum link there, um, and then you'll get taken to uh, the discussion forum, right? Um, here is what it will look like. Uh, this, this week's question asks, how representative is Congress? Most legislators are white, upper middle class males, although this group is a very small part of our entire population. What impact does this skewed representation have in terms of liberty, equality, et cetera, et cetera, right? So to simply reply to this with your initial post, you'll just simply hit the reply, uh, type out your initial post, um, and then um, post that. And that'll be, make sure it's 250 words, make sure that it's posted by normally on a normal week, Wednesday at 11.59 p.m., Though on this week, as long as you get it in there by Sunday at 11.59 p.m., as well as your two follow-up posts, uh, you'll be good and get credit, right? Um, and then you'll be able to reply to fellow students' uh, posts, replies to me. Um, a typical discussion forum, right? Um, if you ever partake in one, it's set up just like that. Um, so that's not an issue which I don't foresee, right? Um, so that's essentially it, right? Um, I did want to also uh, bring your attention to, you can have your inquisitive, inquisitive assignment link here. That's exactly the same. Same, your exam, your next midterm exam, refer to the syllabus for that, for that day. Um, when you have your exams now, instead of having a, just a one day to complete the exam, I give you a week, right? That doesn't mean that you can start it on Monday and you have until Friday to finish it. Once you start it, you'll only have 75 minutes to finish it, but you can take that exam on Monday. You can take it on Tuesday. You can take it on Wednesday. You can take it on Thursday. You can take it any day of the week, only one time. And only one question that's going to look just like the, the other one did, uh, the first midterm exam, right? So nothing new there. Uh, new content. There is a study guide uh, in the week before the midterm. So make sure you look at the syllabus for that. Um, and that midterm or that uh, study guide will be posted in that week's module uh, in the course content page, right? Um, so on the exams, you can do it any day during the week. They have to be completed by the Saturday of the exam week at 1159. Uh, though, again, you only have one attempt at the exam. So once you start it, you have 75 minutes to complete it. And once that 75 minutes is up, that's it, right? So you don't get another attempt if you um, haven't done well uh, on the exam. So make sure you don't start it until you're ready and then you have a stable internet connection, some quiet time, uh, your notes gathered, right? Um, also, uh, your optional makeup paper is here. I'll be delivering a prompt uh, after the exam, uh, emailing it to you guys uh, so you can fill out the optional makeup paper uh, if you wish, if you want to replace one of your grades on your midterm, one of your midterm exams, right? Um, the last exam that's changed from our face-to-face -face is the California government paper. Originally, you were going to have to uh, write a paper on a, a government meeting, uh, but because uh, you're not going to be able to attend those meetings, right, um, I've created another assignment for you here. You can see the the instructions and the prompt for that paper here uh, on the on the tab here. Um, and once we get this going and this opens up, you'll be able to see how it looks. So here, five page double space paper, right? 100 points. Um, and you'll want to make sure you write a single essay, right? Basically it talks about California's government. Um, it talks about how does California's government compare the legislative, the executive, and the judicial branches. It's a fairly uh, straightforward um, uh, essay if you've been doing the readings and you, you reviewed a lecture for that week um, uh, and you won't need any outside research. You'll be able to answer this just with your, your California government textbook, right? 
All right, black to, back to Blackboard. That is about it in terms of the navigation video. I've gone over everything um, that I believe that I need to cover. You can submit your paper here. Um, refer to the syllabus in terms of dates, new dates, uh, not only for the midterm, but for the when the paper is due, right? Um, and just review that syllabus for the recommended student schedule and just give it a good glance over because it's, it's important that you understand. You get a good grip. You don't want to fall behind uh, getting... Uh, getting going in the class right so uh, I'm here if you have any questions feel free to stop by my zoom office hours again Tuesdays and Thursdays 11 to 12 I'll be sending a link inviting you guys all you just click it you can do it on your phone you can do it on a laptop you don't have to uh, join via video so if you're having a bad hair day right you can just keep your camera off and and just talk to me uh, via the voice function right there's a chat function if you don't want to uh, chat via your voice um, so there's all kinds of different functions it's pretty user-friendly um, so I'll be sending that leak out on Thursday um, a little bit before 11 so you can join um, if you have any questions while getting started uh, feel free to uh, email me I have adjusted the inquisitive dates um, to the new dates reflected on the syllabus so uh, those of you that maybe missed the original date for the Congress and the legislative branch uh, inquisitive assignments I've extended those until Saturday of this week uh, so please make sure you get those done if you haven't already right um, hang in there stay safe stay sanitized uh, don't hoard the toilet paper. Be considerate of your neighbor. Help an elder, elderly person out. Don't hang out in groups, right? Do everything that the CDC is telling you. Um, you might be skeptical of certain uh, individuals in the government, but know that the CDC is made up of experts and scientists and nonpartisan people. They're just looking at trying to keep people healthy. So follow their guidelines. Stay safe above all else. Uh, we'll get through this. Yeah, we've uh, faced uh, harder and more trying times and we'll get through it so uh hang in there let me know if i can be of assistance in any way and i'll be seeing you guys uh throughout the course all right bye